All right, welcome to the shop again. This is uh, <clears throat> video number two in regards to making um, or turning 80% AR-15 lowers into completed lower receivers. So what I have here is I have the uh, 5D tactical router jig here. I have my 80% um, lower receiver already mounted in it, and I mounted it to my uh, drill press vise. Normally this is on my drill press, but I took it off. I was going to mount it here on this vise here, but I don't think there's enough stability. So basically, I mounted it um, in this vise. Should give me a pretty good hold, and I'm going to clamp this vise uh, down to my outfeed table on my table saw. Um, we'll get the router mounted to it in a little bit here, and uh, we'll get to work here. So I made the video on the first one, and I kind of stopped short, and then I ordered the wrong end mill, which is this piece here on the router. I ordered the wrong one, so I had to wait 10 days or whatever to get it from the company. So that's mounted in there now. Everything's ready to go. I just need to start drilling some holes, put the router on top, and milling out the, uh, um, the rest of the uh, lower receiver for the AR. So stay with me a couple minutes here. Let me get this um, vise clamped down to my outfeed table and start drilling and milling. Give me a minute here. Okay, one of the first things that I need to do here is mount the um, end mill, which is this piece here, to the router. And the 5D Tactical guys make these um, end mill specific for your router. So you need to let them know what type of router you have and you'll get the proper end mill. That was my problem to begin with is I ordered the wrong um, end mill for my router for whatever reason. I got five or six different routers around here and I couldn't make the one that they sent me work. Um, so we're going to mount this thing in, tighten it up, and we should be should be good to go. Things like this, I like to add a little bit of oil whenever I'm getting stuff to torque right and tighten right. Just kind of a habit of mine. I don't know whether it be a tire or something like this. So I don't want it coming out. That would be no fun having this thing fly out of there. So that's on there. And the 5D Tactical um, jig part is mounted on here. They give you a plate that will um, mount onto your router base and then you can mount the, the jig assembly to that plate. So it's kind of you know, kind of a couple step process but basically that's how it works. And I'm not a big fan of the way this router lifts and things but it does do it. So Okay, just like that. Don't like this thing at all, but this is the router I got. The only router I had with all the different configurations that that company had um, that I can make work. I got DeWalt's and Porter Cables and the only one. So, for whatever reason, let me try. A little bit of oil there. Thing to go down smooth. I don't know why it's so clunky on this thing. It's not the. I don't know what makes it lock on? There it goes. Jeez. I'm not a big fan of this thing. It's a Hitachi. It's normally mounted in my table saw extension here for my wood routing. But for whatever reason, it's pretty clunky in here. Let me try this a little bit. A little bit of oil. And mount it in there. That's better. A lot better. So, set right down at the bottom. It gets tight. So, that should work. Okay. should stay 
That could stay in there. All right, first step, what they ask you to do in this thing is before you go dumping your end mill down into the um, the 80% lower receiver, you, you do a, drill a pilot hole. So basically, this is your 80% um, AR-15 lower receiver. It's missing some holes, okay? Um, we're going to drill them, and we're also going to drill a pocket in here. We'll drill all or mill all that out, and that's what the milling end mill is for, okay? And you want to creep up on this thing. You don't want to hog it all out at once. you got to take incremental steps on doing this. So first thing we do is we drill a hole, and then we can get the end mill down in that hole. So let me go back and revisit my um, instructions. Mount the drill bit in the drill, and then I'll get back to you. All right, first step they said is mount that drill bit in there and um, drill out this hole here all the way through to the bottom of the receiver. Oh. Everything should be tight. It's just a drill guide right here you put on to drill the hole. After that, you take this off, then the router will fit on here and machine all, um, all that out. So let's see how that looks. Here we go. It's a $50 lower receiver so let's see what happens first one I'm doing Gonna be a messy process here. A lot of material you gotta go through.
I'm gonna turn this off. I'll be back in a minute. It's taking forever. All right, I think we're right about there. Let's see what we do here. Yep, I always feel, holy smokes. All right, that was a little bit of work. Ruin my sweatshirt. That was definitely some work there to hog out. Just that, that drill bit's 21 64th. That's a lot of work. Now, next thing you do is you just take this drill bit guide off. Take that off. I'll take a vacuum and clean most of this stuff up. And then we'll uh, I'll show you how deep that hole was. Yeah, that's just a hardened steel uh, drill bit guide. So, kind of nice. Not aluminum or anything that won't wear out. It's just as tough as your drill bit, if not maybe even tougher. So, <clears throat> give me a second here, find a vacuum and turn it on. Clean it out and I'll show you what I got. All right, here we go. So, <clears throat> holes drilled. Just a reminder, re uh, reminder before you turn on your vacuum. Make sure you put stuff away. Right now I'm missing a metric screw uh, for this, and I think I know where it's at, and I ain't chasing it down. So Ace Hardware, here I come later on if I don't have one in the shop. I'm starting to get a collection of metric. Maybe that's not even metric. Why did I say metric? That might be standard screw. I, just a regular machine screw. Anyway, <clears throat> well, I'll give you a shot of this, what we have accomplished so far. Let me take the camera off the tripod and shoot it down in there. So basically, uh, there's the hole that we just drilled out. So that'll be the initial starting hole. And then we'll start milling out um, the rest of this area to, you know, to specs. So that's the initial hole to get your uh, end mill plunged down in, started, and then you just start working your way around this um, all this material and hogging it all out. So anyway, stay tuned. All right, first step here in routing or milling this thing out is there's the base, the blue part, mounted on top of the router. The first part is they give you a set of bushings. Um, they got a small, medium, and large, or short, medium, and long. Um, first one, short one, you put it in these recessed parts here, and then put two screws in there. Didn't fit real well in that one. I'll get it in there. Okay, why is it not fitting right? So anyway, when you do that, I'll get it in there. Take it over to your template, I guess we're going to call that. And then you're going to uh, place your router base on here, and it'll follow this, this portion here, your router. Um, basically, your first one, it, it only goes so deep, and you'll, you'll follow that, and then you'll put your, um, your medium-sized bushing on, and it'll follow this pattern, and then your third one will um, route all the way down. So, in increments. So, let me get those on there, and uh, we'll show you what's going to happen next. So, again, why that one bushing doesn't really sit in there yet. There's something holding it up. See if I can't figure that out. Let me find an Allen wrench here and uh, get that started. All right, let's get these started in here. Find out why that one doesn't want to flush out on me. Tighten it in there and see what she does. Right down in there. That feels better. So again, these are the short ones. Sit down in there. Okay, I'm happy with that. What I'd like to do though is like I do with everything else around here, aluminum and steel mixture threaded small things we're gonna put a little bit of oil in there i just think you get a better torque with everything and less susceptible to stripping out and 
set them in there and then you uh determine the depth of your end mill there's a guide on the on this jig here on the template of it you just keep incrementally going deeper and deeper with it until you get to the right depth the slower you go the better of a finish we're going to get so we'll keep that out okay and then basically you just take it over there you can see these slots right here and uh, this one's one two and three they're numbered so you take your first one set your router up against it if I can do that with my clamp there no let's see here we'll move that for a minute down regardless so you just set it up against there and then you change the depth of your router and that'll be your first first pass like that make sure this thing doesn't move All right and then you just basically set it on here get it in the hole All right I'm out not very easy to see what's going on down there for the angle I got Jeez. it's in there with a little bit of slop so you don't want to be riding up against the edge of that pre-drilled hole and fire up your router that ain't going to be fun so let's reclamp this my toolbox here shop at the rack and they say turn your router up all the way it's a variable speed router that I have here I'm gonna probably get a chair that will be more comfortable sitting here doing that maybe so All right, now I gotta be careful because my router left on. Let me get it out of there for a sec while we plug it in to make sure it ain't left on. There. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of a pain. Kind of a pain to get in there. Can't really see what you're doing. this thing around and see if I can see better okay well they give me a viewing window here that was definitely better yeah I'm not real comfortable with this I'm not hogging much
wasn't too bad. I'll show you what I got in here. I'll show you the first first part of the milling process. Let me take this off and get it in there. Sorry about my fingers. So that's the first part. I think I'm done. Maybe not. Maybe it's got to go all the way up into this area too, but we'll see. So it looked like I was hitting just by the way the chip stopped right there. So it was, it was stopping there. So I'm assuming that was as far, or maybe that opening on this thing has got to go that way. We'll figure that out in a second here. Stay with me.